Okay, let's see here. I'm not sure how much battery life I have in here. I can't even see a battery indicator. So we're just going to wing it like I do every day. I've got the box here for Recon Supernatural Syndicate. Thank you for your purchase. I know it took me a little while, but with the move and everything, things kind of got pushed aside and put out of the way. Now I do want you to know, I did try to put the output on there, but like Kevin's, the echo stopped. And I don't know what that problem is yet, but I don't have time to figure it out. <laughs> um, so they were made to be built with the echo in them. I tried to adjust it a little bit. It's not the greatest echo, but it isn't bad. I mean, if you just use a little bit, it's, it's not bad at all. Just to, just to give a little bit of depth, it does work. So I've got a uh, updated antenna on them. They keep changing. I've only made four of these, you know, and the first two were, they were just like drafts, and Kevin's got one, and I've got the other. You've got this one, and I did make another one that, it failed miserably but um, I'm getting there with them so what you have here is your volume very touchy volume your your scan rate I put the echo on the side on this one this is a smaller box than the other ones that I made it's whatever I can get when I can get it so tight everything's crammed in here your your scan your um, yeah, I can't even think. Your FM frequencies right here. You hold that down for a second and it will start scanning through your channels. I got a little hole up here so you can see your light. In the back is your battery pack. The whole thing just slides off. This one's a little tight. Pops off. Put it back on. I'd rather have it tight than loose. So let's go ahead put it on. You've got a very long antenna. I would suggest not putting it up all the way because then some some channels may decide they want to stop and you don't want that to happen all right sorry couldn't see what I was doing so it is now on we hold that down for a sec we're gonna let it scan the echoes all the way up right now because I just I just put it together and screwed it in. This would have been your 3.5 millimeter jack was going to go there. And I ran out of room. So then I was going to put it over here and it wouldn't fit. So you've got a hole there. <laughs> I covered it. I'm sorry. It's just the way it is sometimes. It doesn't hinder this thing at all. So now I know what to do with these little ones and I know what to do on the big ones. We shouldn't have any more, any more mess ups. The owner of this so it's just scanning through right now. I'm gonna let it do its thing. I may speed this up to save time. I don't know. They have right. What are we up? We're up to 14 channels already. Not too bad. Anything over 12 is pretty great. All right, so we're we're tuned in. You see your light is solid right now. There's no scan. Here's your echo. I'm just gonna turn it all the way down, and I'm gonna crank it half, quarter of the way actually. Okay, is there anybody here to help me test this thing? My right ear just... Dead. Say dead or dead. My right ear rang and I thought I heard Lewis at the same time and I was trying to say my right ear is ringing. <laughs> so, somebody's here with me. Thank you. If it's you, Lewis, how are you? They've been watching me work on this thing for the last hour, trying to get the input in, and just not, not possible.
And this is just a touch for volume. I mean, that amp in there is so powerful. So, one thing that I'm going to tell you and everybody else who, who may or who may get one of these in the future is that when your batteries start to die, there's no there's no battery indicator. But what happens is your your reverb starts to squeal. You'll get a, like a, a squelch noise, a squeal noise. That means your batteries are dying. It happened to me at first. I couldn't figure. I took the whole box apart trying to figure out what was wrong with it. And I realized that I had my batteries in for like a month. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're dying. Okay, so can you guys tell me who this box is going to? Do you know? Who's this box going to? Lewis, Lewis, what are you doing today? How are you? Is Jasper around? You guys were down at the Virgin House the other day, I hear? Coming through loud and clear? Let me see if I can mess around with the scan here a little more. Okay, let's do um, a little something for shits and giggles here. Um, something. Can you tell me what this is? For confirmation, please. That's why. What is this? And what did I do with this thing just a moment ago? Hey. What did I do with this thing a moment ago? Right. I'm so used to using these things with dull knives that I get careless with them. And then when I put a new one on it every time, I cut myself, and I was bleeding like a stuck pig a minute ago. Cut, yeah. So that's that. That's your box, man. I'm going to. I'm going to take this off, and I'm going to place it into the box. When you screw it back on, use a a wrench and just. Not not overly tight, okay, because inside there's just a thin there's just a thin bolt and I put a little glue on the inside of it just to hold it together. Um, but it'll make the box smaller if I just take it off and put it in the box separately. Okay. And that's that, that's your box.